my pleasure to introduce Chris Rock for Real Sports on why blacks have abandoned baseball and why it matters. I'm an endangered species, a black baseball fan. Why don't black people like baseball anymore? When I was growing up, we loved baseball. I followed the Mets, and in 1986, we won it all with Doc, Darrell, Mitchell, and my man Mookie. Back then, almost 20% of all major leaguers were African American, and I could actually have conversations with other black people about baseball. Hey, what's up, man? You see the game last night? Yeah, it was great. Now, if I say to a black person, did you see the Met game last night? They'll say, what the fuck's a Met? Last year, the San Francisco Giants won it all without any black guys on the team. The closest thing to a person of color in the stands was their mascot, a biracial seal. If you want to see a seal club to death, let them stroll through Brooklyn flashing those rings. And the team the Giants had to beat to get there, the St. Louis Cardinals, had no black players either. None. How could you ever be in St. Louis and see no black people? And, and get this. The crowds were more than 90% white, like the Ferguson Police Department. Baseball isn't 20% black anymore, it's 8% and falling fast. That's an average of two guys per team. And those two probably listen to Blake Shelton to keep from getting their ass kicked by their teammates. Stillman is one of the oldest black schools in America. Almost every kid there is black, except for these 36 the baseball team, one black kid and 35 white guys. And at Howard University, the Harvard of black colleges, they said fuck it and just canceled baseball altogether. Now they still have volleyball, tennis, even lacrosse. Yeah, lacrosse was black enough for Howard, but not baseball. Some people say it's money. Baseball is too expensive, but hey, Dominicans play it. This is a tiny third world island and it dominates baseball. And the only equipment they have are twigs for bats, diapers for gloves, and Haitians for bases. It's not the money. You can't tell me black kids can't afford baseball when everybody's buying Jordans for $300. That's six gloves right there. It's the game. It's old fashioned and stuck in the past. You got the white haired white guy announces. You've got cheesy old organ music at the games. I mean, where's the beats by Dre? And every team is building a bullshit fake antique stadium that's supposed to remind you of the good old days. You know, the good old days of Roof, DiMaggio, Emmett Till. Guess what? Black people don't like to look back. Throwback Thursday is about as far back as black people like to go. But baseball can't get enough. Last month, they had a throwback baseball tournament where everybody got dressed up like it was the 1860s, back when batting runners in meant putting down a slave rebellion. Had it down in Franklin, Tennessee, at a plantation. Then the next day, they all went back to their jobs as corrections officers and state senators. Baseball wants everything to stay the way things used to be. The world has sped up but the game is slower than ever. Last year, the Mets played a half inning with no hits, no hits, and it took more than 22 minutes. That's a whole episode of Key and Peel. Where is A.A. Ron right now? And baseball doesn't just have rules from another time. It has an old fashioned code too. When you score in football or basketball, the players celebrate. Good times, come on. But when you score in baseball, the code says, you better not look too happy about it, or else a baseball will go whizzing by your head. Yeah. It's the only game where there's a right way to play the game, the white way. The way it was played 100 years ago, when only whites were allowed to play. This code doesn't exist in other places where they play baseball, like Korea, where bat flipping is an art form. Or the Caribbean, where the games are a carnival. The old Negro Leagues were a carnival too. There were actual clowns on the roster. They played with invisible balls pitched through their legs. But in America's proper version of the game, baseball is like a visit to the queen. If you don't bow correctly, it could be an international incident. When Yasiel Puig got here two years ago from Cuba, the first thing the Dodgers told him was, be ready to duck. Whoa. 
Baseball even knows it's uncool. They've tried every trick in the book to be hip, but they just look so desperate. Hasidic beards, exploding home run signs. They even try to steal cool from cool black guys. But all that ever does is make the black guy look uncool. Look what happened to 50 Cent when he tried to throw out the first pitch. Just a bit outside. Hasn't had a hit record since. I don't care about any of this as a black guy. I care about this as a baseball fan. We don't really need baseball, but baseball needs us. Fact is, black America decides what's hot and what young people get excited about. Ask the men's golf tour or the women's tennis tour. Why don't you just ask Mitt Romney? You lose black America, you lose young America. And make no mistake, baseball is losing. Yeah, the owners made more money than ever last year. But while they were celebrating, kids were skateboarding away. Little League participation has fallen 20% since 1995. World Series viewership is down 50% during the same time. Of the people who still watch baseball on TV, five out of six are white, and their average age is 53. That's not an audience. That's a tea party rally. Baseball is dying. Literally. Maybe if baseball gets a little hipper, a little cooler, just a little more black, the future can change. But till then, blacks and baseball just ain't a good match anymore. Blacks don't seem to care, but baseball should be terrified. Thanks, Chris. And you can watch the rest of our latest show all month on HBO, including the first sit-down interviews with both Russell Wilson and Jim Harbaugh since each saw his NFL season end in disastrous fashion.